area conversion one. What we have here is a rectangle, six centimeters by four centimeters high. So the area of that rectangle is six multiplied by four is 24. 24 square centimeters in that figure there. I've sliced a piece of the corner here and if I put that piece on this side, I end up with a quadrilateral. Now the area of this quadrilateral is the same as the rectangle that we had at the beginning. The height multiplied by the length. So it's six and the height is four. So the area of the quadrilateral is 24. This is the same. This quadrilateral here, so it's six and the height is four. So the area of the quadrilateral is 24. I've taken this shape here and I've sliced it into along the short diagonal. This triangle here is half the area of the quadrilateral above. So the area of this triangle is 12. This one here I split along the long diagonal. So the area of this triangle is also 12. This shape here, the same shape again, slice it along the short diagonal. Again, the two triangles are equal and the area of 12. And the last one split along the long diagonal and the area of each triangle is 12. What I've done now is I've drawn these two lines and they're four centimeters apart. When we look at this triangle here, it's on the bottom line and it touches the top line. If we take one of these triangles now and fit it on top of the other one, the top of it is also on the line above. If we take this one here, again, fit the basis in line, it's also at the top. Take this one here, fit it again along the base. They're all along that top line there. So if I draw a line up to that top line and back to another point in the base, that triangle is equal to each of these triangles. This triangle here is again equal in area to each of these triangles. Now this is a question on it. Construct an isosceles triangle equal in area to the given triangle ABC. Given this triangle ABC and we're asked to draw an isosceles triangle equal in area to it. An isosceles triangle has two equal angles. So the first thing we'll do is we'll bisect the base. So using the compass, bisect the base, draw vertically up. Now from the top point B, draw parallel to the base. And where that intersects the vertical line, join that point back down to the two points on the base. And that triangle there is an isosceles triangle equal in area to the given triangle, ABC. Construct a triangle equal in area to triangle DEF and having one side 110 millimeters long. Set the compass to 110, put the point of compass in the base and draw an arc. Draw horizontally across from the top point where it intersects the arc, join that back down to the base. And here we have a triangle, one side 110, and is equal in area to the given figure D, E and F.